create a person holding a GPU. Oh shit, here we go again. As you can see, also working fine. Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco. Oh! As for this video, we have kind of a review or the testing of the newest feature, one of the newest features that was introduced with the AMD Adrenaline Edition 25.3.1, and it is the AMD Chat. This is basically an AI assistant that you have inside the AMD Adrenaline software, and it is an offline one. So you don't really need any internet connection in order to use it. It will take up to 25 gigabytes, so you have to download 25 gigabytes and install it in your computer, but you will be uh, kind of internet free. You can just do, you can generate images, you can ask how to get better performance, you can ask common questions like you do, for example, with ChatGPT. It is, of course, kind of a dumbed down version, but it is inside the Adrenaline software. After the 25.3.1 drivers, all you have to do is just right click on your desktop and you'll have AMD Software Adrenaline Edition, the normal software, and now you have a link to the AMD chat already. And by the way, this is only for the RX 9070 series or like the 9070 XT and uh, the 9070, basically the ones that have AI cores. At least for now, it's only for these cards. I do believe that AMD will bring some features for the RX 7000 series as well because they do have AI cores to you, but it will take some time. So for now, it is only for the 9070 series, and when the 9060 series come out, it will work on them as well. So you can go for the AMD chat, and you have kind of a chat window, the normal chat window for the, for the AMD chat, or you can go to the normal software edition, then you have the AI tab, and you have the, the chat tab here. So we have several things that we that we can ask the chat. Like remember, this is not online, so it doesn't really know any information. For example, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask who I am. Who is Fabio Pisco from the YouTube channel Ancient Gameplays? As soon as you start making questions that well, aren't really related to anything that, that the software can, or that, that the AI can have offline, it won't be really able to answer your question, or it will answer your question, but not, uh, not properly. So, based on the available information, I was unable to find any relevant data about the person named Fabio Pisco associated with the YouTube channel Ancient Gameplays. But from the moment you start asking some interesting questions, for example, what is a CPU? A central processing unit CPU is the primary component of a computer that performs most instructions uh, that performs most instructions that the computer software sends to the control to control other parts of the computer, sorry. It executes instructions from both hardware and software components. In your case, you have a Ryzen 7 9800X 3D, 8 core processor, blah, blah, blah. So it says the number of the, the processor that you have, the number of cores, threads, and so on, which is very nice. Now we can ask another question. What is a GPU? But before, let's lay an eye on today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. The, the chat will also answer. So a graphics processing unit, GPU is a computer chip, blah, blah, blah. And then you have an AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT as your primary GPU. This, purple, this powerful card is designed, blah, blah, blah. So more of the same. What is FSR? AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution FSR is an advanced upscaling technology designed to enhance frame rates and provide near-native resolution with high-quality detail. It's a cutting-edge solution that uses open source, high performance, and so on, so on, so on. And we can ask other things like, for example, uh, what is XESS? Now, this is an interesting one. XESS DirectX Super Sampling is a competitor to AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Oh, my bad. Now, somehow we don't have information. We did have, but we don't really have now the information just went away. It gives us the idea and basically, uh, however, the exact details of XESS works are not publicly disclosed by NVIDIA. The chat thinks that XESS is from NVIDIA. Now let's try what is NVIDIA's DLSS. <laughs> now look at this. I am an assistant made by AMD, so I cannot provide information about competitor products or technologies. So the chat is kind of limited, but again, it is offline and it is what it is. Can 
RX 7000 series GPUs run FSR4? Let's see what the chat has to say about this. And now we got the answer. Based on the available information, AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4 is supported and currently disabled by default on the RX 9070 series graphics cards. However, it can be enabled through the Apple RX, blah, blah, blah. As of March 2025, there are over 420 available and upcoming games that support FSR 1, 2, or 3, with some titles getting FSR, FSR 4 support soon. The latest version, blah, 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 FSR 4, which uses AI power upscaling, to confirm if your RX 7000 series GPU you can run FSR4, you can check the status indicator in the MD software overlay. So it doesn't really give you a proper con conclusion, it just basically tells you to go see for yourself. Give me a list of games that support FSR4. Based on the available information as of March 2025, the yeah, blah, blah, blah. So as for the support for the support with FSR4, we have Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Cre Creatures of Ava, Until Dawn, Ratchet and Clank. So basically, most of these are correct. About Crimson Desert, I don't really know, but Space Marine, Marvel Spider Man, Horizon Forbidden West, and Zero Dawn remastered. Until Dawn also, The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2 as well. Creatures of Ava. So this is. This is actually nice and it's correct. Now let's do some other questions. How to improve my FPS in games? Let's see what we have with this. To improve your FPS frames per second in games, so you have several options like lower resolution or detail settings, turn off unnecessary features like anti-aliasing or motion blur. Anti-aliasing is not unnecessary. Use AMD's built-in tools such as Radeon Image Sharpening and Radeon Anti-Light 2 to enhance performance in terms of, of course, latency, not FPS. But yeah, you can use Radeon Boost and so on. And then you have um, kind of links to enable Radeon Boost, Fluid Motion Frames and Radeon Anti-Lag, which is interesting, to be honest. And we have interesting information here because we can now know what is a CPU, what is a GPU, but there are some poorly information. Because yesterday when I was talking about RDNA 3 and FSR 4 and so on, it told me several times that the RX uh, 1970 series uh, were using RDNA 2. So uh, now he's using RDNA 3, so this part is really bad on the LLM. Basically, based on the available uh, available information, sorry, AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT is a GPU based on the RDNA 3 architecture, which is wrong, it's RDNA 4, even though RDNA 4 is based... Well, in this case, not really. It's more based on RDNA 2. According to the global HyperRx experience and so on, so on, so on, so yeah. It isn't really that. So now that you know all these things, let's try another thing. For example, enable AFMF for me. So we have a lot of text telling me how to enable AFMF. And now I have a link where I can press enable AMD Fluid Motion Frames. Let's see what we have here. Well, it's now enabled. Basically, I had to click only on the link. Now let's see, uh, create me, create an image for me. As soon as you do this, or you say create an image for something else, it will enter the image generation mode. And it works, and it works, believe me. So I just said create an image for me, and it is now creating a, a random image, I believe, yes, as you can see. Um, create a cyberpunk image of a baby, something like that. Let's see what the chat has to do here with stable diffusion. As you see, done, easy. Create a person holding a GPU. As you can see, also working fine. Not that this is a GPU, this is more like a fan. Um, but yeah, a RX 7900 XT. Let's see what we have here. Okay, nothing really. <laughs> an AMD RX 7900 XT GPU. Let's see what do we have now. Yeah, it's even more confusing, so the AMD chat still has a lot to go, but it can do simple things. One, things that I, that I, one of the things that I like is that it creates um, uh, 1024 per 1024 images instead of 512 per 512, so it's bigger. And this is one of the images that it created when I told uh, the guy to create a Radeon GPU, and it, it just did this with the Radeon with the R on the top. So it was so cool that I just recorded it, but as you can see, uh, 1024 per 1024 and remember the images are getting created very fast as you saw I just pressed and bam the image was created which created which is very nice but let's say create a cyberpunk 
and fantasy castle let's see what we have now better it's kind of more of a darkish but let's cyberpunk castle let's see what we have here just without the fantasy yeah it's basically the same now remember that we enabled afmf let's go to gaming graphics and yes afmf is enabled and anti-lag is enabled by default as well by the way when you go to the home menu you now have an amd chat window as well the same chat window that you can get done here and as you can see create the futuristic castle blah 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 and it appears here the same way it appears here on the chat by the way it is it is usually very nice for example um create a poem let's see what we have here i can actually download the image i guess and let's see if it wrote anything readable uh yeah <laughs> it's just basically a poem with no sense whatsoever and you can do more things i believe that you can do kind of drag and drop files so let's try going to for example the graphics I'm now chatting with this document information. This is about Windows versus Linux. So let's ask what is faster, Linux or Windows? I just drag and drop the document there and now we're talking about the information inside the document. So I, I actually asked which one was faster and we now have no bar of 41 performs, 23% faster at 1080p, 16% faster at 1440p and 10% faster at 4K in Banishers. And uh, yeah, Resident Evil, Stalker, Windows outperforms Linux by a significant margin in Counter-Strike 2 with very high settings being 27% faster at 1080p. Now, now this is interesting and still on the same document we can ask um, many questions. Let's try um, the GPU comparison or the review. Let's go, the document there, great. What GPU is faster? Let's see what we have here. <laughs> Interesting. Based on the provided information, it appears that the performance of GPUs can vary depending on a specific game and resolution, which is correct. However, in some cases, the RX 9070 XT outperforms other AMD cards, such as the 7900 XTX. In particular, in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 at 1080p, then in Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 at 1440p and 4K, the 9070 XT outperforms the, 90, the 7900 XTX by a small margin. In God of War Ragnarok at 1080p, the 9070 XT is up to 7% faster. However, in other cases such as Counter-Strike 2 with very high settings and ray tracing enabled, Windows outperforms Linux. <laughs> yeah, because we are now talking about the two documents, I guess. So cool. And if you want, you, you can, for example, just open the floating window that we have, or we can just start a new chat in order to not have these documents here. So again, this is AMD chat, offline mode, 25 gigabytes of download, but you have this. You can drag and drop documents, you can just go there and, and tell the, um, the chat to kind of resume the document. You can ask, for example, if you have an essay with like 200 pages, you can just go resume me the essay. I can drag and drop files, but I cannot drag and drop um, these documents. Can you create music? Let's see. I can generate text-based musical compositions, such as lyrics or chord progressions. Mm, interesting. But I am not capable of creating audio files. So, in theory, the AMD chat can create music, but it can't create audio files. Remember, this is currently now for the RX 9070 series or the 9000 series only. Maybe it will go to RDNA 3 as well, but it is a very good addition for people to, to kind of have the dumbed down version just in the software without the need of any kind of connection. Just go use it, drag and drop files. This is actually nice. It is not a thing that most people will use or that all people will use, but some people will definitely use it and it can help you in some, in some very specific scenarios. Like again, create an image, like drag and drop documents, resume, resume documents, uh, ask questions, they will not always be correct, but most of them will. So it, it is nice to see AMD evolving into this, and I believe that it, it will only get better. If it is like this just on the first version, it will only get better with time, which is great. And well, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe, and share this video, as that really helps a lot. And see you in the next one, I guess, guys. Cheers.